Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, today uh, I am in a spot that I've never flown a drone before. Uh, as you guys have seen my last few videos, I was messing around with the uh, Femi X8 Mini and really struggling with that drone, trying to get it to work like it should. So a lot of people said, hey, it's time to move on to something else. And you know what, they're absolutely right. Uh, yeah, so what I have today is, of course, the good old reliable uh, uh, DJI Mini 2. And we all know that the Mini 2 is just a phenomenal little uh, piece of equipment. And uh, I, I, I just have to say, I always enjoy flying this guy. Uh, so let's take it someplace special. Uh, today is July 2nd when I'm filming this and we're kind of in the middle of a big heat wave in the northwest and and down in the valley uh, in the Boise area it's 100 plus degrees, 102, 103, maybe even 104 degrees uh, and it has been for over a week and is projected out for weeks off in the distance to have those kind of hot temperatures and you know it, I'll just be honest with you uh, unless you get up early to go out and fly. It's no fun flying in that kind of heat. Uh, so what did I do? I went up in the mountains. I, am, uh, I went up Bogus Basin Road just north of the city of Boise. Uh, there's a ski resort not far from where I'm at right now, but I'm at what they call the Stack Rock Trailhead. Uh, and let's just take this little guy up and let's just have a look around. I've, I've never flown a drone up here, so we're gonna learn some stuff together and see some things together. Uh, so as you can see, it's a, it's a wooded area, and I'm gonna kinda turn the camera around here a little bit so you can see there's a big uh, kind of a parking area here. And uh, yeah, so when we take off, I've got a spot that I can launch from, and, and, uh, and I'll set the camera down and I'll, uh, I'll point the camera towards our takeoff spot with the drone. There are some power lines kind of right up above me here, so we're gonna have to be careful of those, but I, I'm sure we can successfully negotiate that. And I'm looking off in the distance and I can see uh, the city of Boise way down there. So this is gonna be kind of fun. We're gonna get some pretty cool shots. So let's just quit messing around. Let's get the little Mini 2 up in the air. Okay, uh, so we're all fired up here. Uh, and I've already shown you uh, UAV forecast uh, and you can see it's showing some winds. I'll be honest with you, it does not feel that windy. So uh, we'll be careful, but that's well within what this drone's capability is. So, uh, so we should be just fine. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, go ahead and take off here. We'll do that on the app. So, yaw the drone around here. I gotta say, the drone is moving around just a little bit, and uh, I'm getting that usual little uh, buck that my Mini 2 does, and you know, as soon as it, it just takes just a few seconds and it stops doing it, but uh, I don't know if you could see that on the GoPro, but, uh, but it definitely did it here. So we're, I'm looking, I'm gonna get, up, get some altitude here, and I'm looking for a spot that maybe we can uh, we can do a uh, a droney. It's uh, where there's a lot of trees here, so I'm gonna have to be kind of careful. Plus, there's some power lines right above me, so uh, I'm gonna drop the gimbal down so that we're not pointed uh, so far up and uh, reverse and up now. Now there's a good luck, huh? And that might have looked like we were close to those trees, but uh, we weren't really. Uh, I was, you know, I was watching the drone. And yeah, let's pick that up a little bit. And we were not even close. It looked a little bit more dramatic than what it was. So let's look around here and let's kind of give you a look. So this is the trailhead that I'm talking about. And I'm going to move myself back in the shade. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this is the trailhead. So even, I think it's like about, uh, my thermometer was showing like, I don't know, 82 degrees or something here. Uh, so it's definitely, uh, it's definitely warm. Uh, let's pick that gimbal up. 
And, and when you're in the direct sunlight, it really gets warm. So there's the mountains. And uh, yeah, so that's Bogus Basin Road that you see down there. That's the road that I had to come in on. And it's just a winding road uh, that comes up from uh, right downtown, the city of Boise, uh, comes up to this area. But we're going to get yacht around here to the point that you'll be able to uh, to see the city down there, and and there it is. And you can see we're, you know, we're above the tree line, but not too far. And there again, there's Bogus Basin Road. So uh, so let's grab a little bit more altitude, and uh, and we're going to head that direction. In fact, I'm going to pick the gimbal up just a tad. So we're heading straight out, and we're in normal mode here. And there my vector is just a little bit off. There's Boise, there's downtown Boise right there. Well, you know what, I'm still off. Actually, right there is downtown Boise. And you can see that, you know, this is the foothills of, uh, uh, from Boise, so. Pretty darn cool, pretty nice view here. Man, I am, uh, I'm stoked, guys. I hope, I hope you guys are enjoying this, too. Okay, I'm going to ease off the stick, and we are going to uh, yaw to the drone's left and get you a look at the mountains. Just kind of do that slow, trying to do a slow, even yaw. I suppose I should be in cinema mode, but I'm not. Just in normal mode here. And we're only about 66 meters high. There again, there's that curvy little bogus basin road. And you can see, uh, yeah, there's another trailhead right there. Uh, you can see those cars down there. And we're further up. But what you're seeing right there is the ski resort itself. So. Let's kind of head that direction. I'm going to pick the gimbal back up just a little bit. And you can see uh, the ski resort. And again, you know, we're, we're above the tree line here. And I picked a spot where I took off that uh, even with these power lines, I think I could put the drone into return to home and I think it would come down okay. But those are things you got to think about, right? You got to think about all the obstacles and when you got a lot of trees, and in this case overhead power lines, you definitely want to pay attention to what you're doing. And there's, uh, this is, you know, just right straight back to uh, almost where we took off from. And uh, we'll go over the top of these trees and we'll go the other direction here a little bit. Man, it's beautiful, isn't it? What a beautiful day. And I can see that drone right above us there. And that, off in the distance there, is the Bogus Basin Ski Resort. So I'm going to stop here for a second. And I'm going to look straight down with the gimbal. And I, I, I feel like the drone is right above me. And I, uh, yeah, well, I can see the home point there on the map. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of get my bearings and kind of see where we're at here. And yeah, sure enough, uh, yeah, it's just directly above me. I'm standing uh, right underneath that tree that's centered right there. I'm in the, uh, getting a little shade, uh, trying to stay in the shade a little bit. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, yaw around here and give you a look at how the little, how you get into the uh, stack rock trailhead. So you can see right there, there's a little turn off. So that's, uh, that's just how I got into the trailhead here. Pretty cool that they build these kind of facilities. So let's pick that camera back up, and uh, then we got a nice big cell phone tower there. We're going to stay away from that, and uh, we're going to head back up the hill. A lot of things here, like like there's a lot of TV transmitters and all kinds of those kind of things uh, here, which makes sense, right, up here on Bogus Basin. So we're moving forward now. Let's grab some more altitude as well as we move this direction. And like I said, I'm kind of uh, shooting through trees here, so I'm curious uh, at how well our signal does, but 
it looks pretty darn good. I mean, I'm perfectly clear. This is, I'm kind of laughing because this is such a refreshing change. You guys saw me struggle with that, uh, with that Femi X8 Mini and my goodness, uh, this just comes through just perfectly crystal clear. You know, on FPV, I've got just a beautiful view of everything that I'm looking at. And let's move sideways a little bit and kind of get you a little different view of the ski resort there. Yeah, we're at maximum altitude. I'm going to drop just a little. I probably should have raised my... Uh, my maximum flight altitude. In fact, uh, I'm gonna go do that right now because what you wouldn't want to do is not be able to get over a hill or something if you needed to. So I kicked that up and yeah, we're not gonna go over, uh, we're not gonna go over what is legal, but I just wanted to make sure and it set that return to home. I'm gonna set the return to home real high too. And uh, you know, just in case something happens, that gives us our best chance of, uh, of getting the drone back. Well, isn't this fun? I just realized that uh, I haven't been recording this whole time. So, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. Started recording now. <laughs> so, what you guys will see in the video, or will have seen, you already know, uh, you're going to look at the... Uh, screen recording the FPV that I saw. Oh man, I'm so sorry about that. But anyway, we're recording now and uh, we're in 4K 30 frames per second. Doggone it, that makes me mad. But that's okay. So we'll go back, we'll turn around again and we'll go back and look over, uh, over the city, uh, towards the city of Boise so that we get that on some video. But the other thing I want to do right now is we're out there far enough. I want to uh, Zoom in here a little bit. So that is maximum zoom. And then I'm going to pick the gimbal up just a little. And that is the Bogus Basin Ski Resort. So that's where, uh, you know, it's just north of town. And people from, uh, you can be in downtown Boise and literally be at the ski resort in less than 45 minutes. So pretty convenient. For, uh, for the folks living here. And, and uh, you know, we're in, we're in a drought, uh, but they had, it just seemed like they had plenty of snow up at the resort this year. I have to believe that it was kind of the springtime weather that, uh, that created some of that. So uh, any case, let's, uh, let's zoom back out. Okay, I did that rather quickly, but. And let's. Uh, Let's just do a quick yaw around. So at this point, you're kind of facing due west. We can head, head this way a little bit so you can kind of see the mountains. And again, we're just in, uh, we're just in normal mode. I'm not going to push this battery because I want to have plenty of juice to get back here uh, when we're on our way back. So again, I'm yawing around so you can kind of get a look at, uh, uh, at, the, uh, at, at downtown Boise. And there again, Bogus Basin Road snaking its way. So we're coming right back towards us here. Boy, isn't that beautiful? A little bit of, uh, you know, it looks like there's a little bit of haze in the sky. I'm going to throw it in sport mode here. And let's, uh, let's ease that throttle forward. Yeah, and it dropped the gimbal. And it, they, DJI tells you that. And, you know, that's one of the things that... Uh, that has been an issue with the Femi, but the, the problem with the Femi was it was in normal mode and at slower speeds and unpredictable. Uh, on this uh, Mini 2, it's a very predictable situation. 
man, this is just, uh, I am, I'm loving this. We got a little bit of a wind coming up now, so I don't know if we could, we could potentially get a wind warning. If we do, we'll, we'll just bring it right back. Isn't that beautiful? Holy mackerel. Well, I apologize for uh, not have, having had recording started from the very beginning of this video, but uh, hopefully we're making up for it now. And the drone is just pretty darn close to us right now. Okay, I put the drone in return to home. And it's coming back. And I hate to say it here, but I'm frozen on FPV. So that's why I hit that return to home. And I was complaining about the uh, the Femi Mini, but look at this. We are I'm I'm moving the gimbal right now, and so you guys are going to see it in the video. But uh, yeah, don't know what to say. Work back up to zero. Let's drop it a little. Well, that's why you don't want to chance at anything, and I should be pointed directly at the drone, and it's, it's almost back to us. I can see the drone, but uh, interesting that, uh, that our FPV is frozen. I've never had that happen. <laughs> oh, wow, that's kind of wild. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, trying to drop the gimbal and nothing. You guys will have seen it, but I couldn't see it. So the drone's coming down. And we're still frozen on FPV. You know, you can see the app and the map is working like it should, but... Uh, And I'm looking almost straight up at the sun to see the drone come down. And it's good, it's missing all the trees and it's missing the power lines and everything. Uh, and I do not know, for the life of me, I can't figure out why uh, we're, uh, we're having that uh, frozen FPV screen. And the drone is going to land. You can see it on, on the uh, app there, and it's saying it's not okay, but we're going to give it clearance. And let's see if it lands now. I think I have to pull down on the stick. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull down on the stick. So again, you're looking at, at, at my screen recording, and, and the drone is uh, it's just locked up there. So. Don't know what that's about. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna stop recording. And as soon as I stopped recording, we got FPV back. Isn't that interesting? Well, <laughs> let me get everything shut down and, and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, since I took that video up there at the uh, Stack Rock Trailhead, uh, and had the issue with FPV freezing up on me uh, on the DJI Mini 2. Uh, there's been a lot of posts by people that are having issues with the latest Fly App update, the DJI Fly App 1.4.8. People with Android having issues, uh, and a lot of them are reporting 
freezing of their telemetry and some freezing of FPV like I saw and some disconnections. So clearly there's something going on since this last uh, fly up update. So uh, hopefully that's some that DJI will get resolved soon. So uh, I'm attributing the, the freeze up that I saw here on FPV to that latest version of the fly app. Anyway, just wanted to give you that information. Hey, all right, uh, so that was an interesting flight in more ways than one. So you guys got to see uh, what it's like above the city of Boise, and so did I, first time I've ever flown here. And we got to check out the, the views from the uh, Stack Rock trailhead here, uh, and it's amazing. I apologize that I had not hit recording from the start. So you saw the FPV view of that, and then I started recording. And, uh, and we flew around a little bit, and then we got to a point that the FPV feed froze on my screen on my iPhone 11. And i uh, never seen that before with a DJI drone. Now, you saw where I'm at here. I'm literally surrounded by trees. So you're shooting through the trees, etc. But it's still unusual. We had really good control signal, and it was unusual that it, it didn't come back as the drone came closer. So some kind of a weird anomaly there. Uh, but you saw that when I landed it and stopped recording, it came right back on the screen. So I, I'm not even sure what to say. Uh, but other than that, the drone flew fine. And it is just a pleasure flying this little guy. It just flies so smooth and so nice. And, uh, you know, we had a little bit of wind, but it didn't seem to bother the drone any. We put it in uh, sport mode a little bit. We covered a pretty fair amount of territory, and you got to see, uh, I don't know if they'd still call this part of it the Boise foothills, probably just above when you get to the tree line. I guess that's not the foothills anymore. Uh, but uh, in any case, uh, it's a lot cooler than it is down in the valley, so that's why I came up here, and it was just fun to get this guy out and fly it. So interesting flight. So I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really do appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Mini 2, uh, yeah, a little, little bit of a mystery today. Uh, kind of threw it through a curveball. All right, we'll see you later.